Hi guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. So we're gonna take a walk around the Load Trail PP22. Shown here is a 102 by 25 plus five. It's got 25 foot of flat with a five foot dovetail. It's a 22,000 pound rated trailer. Pretty much most everything you see here is standard with the exception of the full width ramps or the, the uh, max ramps at the rear. And we've also added the charcoal powder coat with the front integrated toolbox. Let's take a walk around the trailer, we'll show you all the standard features as well as the options on this one. So on load trail, uh, the tandem duals, they use a 12 inch, 19 foot pound I-beam frame standard. 19 foot pound used to be the industry standard. Now we see some moving more to a 14 or a 16 foot pound, uh, but this still is a 19 foot pound beam. You'll notice dual jacks on this are standard equipment. It's also got the heavy duty front face plate coupler. Now notice that is adjustable. Shown here with a panel, we can also do a heavy duty turtle coupler or a four bolt two and five sixteenth inch ball. Now on these, we have gone to the integrated front box. This gives you uh, a lot of extra storage space, integrates well into the I-beam, nice and clean, great spot for your chains and binders. Spare tire mount, now one revision they did make being that this is a tandem dual, it's got an extra gusset on it. Gives you a nice spot for uh, your spare tire. You also notice a gusset plate top, bottom, and then also center of the beam. So you got your extra reinforcement. Uh, jack holders on these were revised fairly recently uh, to make these instead of weld on, you can actually replace a jack fairly easily uh, with these. These are a 12K jack, dual landing gear. It's got the spring-assisted drop leg. It's also got a um, greaser on the handle, and then if you've got two on each jack for some serviceability. LED lights are standard. This has the mix of two and two and a half inch uh, lights. These are rubber grommeted, so if you hit something and have some impact, they've got some give. Uh, Sidestep integrated standard equipment. For tie downs, this has the chain spools roughly on two foot centers and then stake pockets also roughly on two foot centers along with an outer rub rail. So if you look along this trailer and it looks different than some you may be used to, it's because it has a pierce frame. You can tell a pierce frame trailer because the I-beam, uh, the top of the I-beam is visible and then you also see the tread plate uh, over the wheel well areas. So a pierce frame design gets you down inch lower deck height so a traditional deck over is going to be about 36 inches this unit here is going to sit about 32 so before i crawl underneath the trailer show you some of the other features uh this suspension system if it looks a little bit different to you it's because it is it's a dexter hdss uh dexter heavy duty suspension system it's actually a 15,000 pound uh suspension system a little bit overkill on a 10k trailer Load trails a lot of customers that do hot shot work or heavy duty hauling. Uh, so this gives them a, a very heavy duty suspension different than most in the industry. Now it varies by manufacturer. This HDSS suspension we commonly see is about a thousand dollar upgrade uh, on our other brands that we offer and some of the other ones in the industry. So this does have Dexter axles. It's got 10K. They do have oil bath hubs, 235, 80 R 16. Uh, load range E 10 ply radial tires also has your mid marker light ahead of the fender So I want to show you some more on this HDSS. So I'm gonna stick my head underneath here You'll see the uh, trailing link arm behind there. This is a fully adjustable suspension You'll notice the hanger brackets on these are a good bit heavier duty than most in the industry uh, They do rate these for a million mile service life Now underneath here, you'll see Pierce frame means just that. The cross member actually pierces through the I-beam frame and the wood sits flush with the top of the I-beam. So you've got some extra I-beams crossing over. I uh, believe they're six or, I believe they're six inch I-beam cross members tying together side to side. In addition to your 16 inch on centered cross members, uh, you'll see your additional gussets going from the I-beam to the outer rail. Now underneath here, these are structural channel cross members, not form steel. We're starting to see more and more uh, form steel. This is also a channel side rail 
uh, very seldom, but occasionally in the industry we're seeing uh, flat stock or angle iron, uh, but this is a channel side rail. Now again, the I-beam on this is a 19 foot pound as well, 12 inch height. Standard equipments, uh, mud flaps, a lot of times they're optional, but on these they are standard. Now because we did the charcoal, this has the, uh, the black wheels. So you have black bud wheels with the, uh, the charcoal powder. We optioned into full width ramps, so a few things uh, on these. One, they give you full width loading. And then two, when you have them down, they give you a full flat 30 foot deck. And they've got a full tread plate backer on the back of these, so you can load all the way out uh, on them. Now another nice feature, these have stand up bars. Not all of them do, but you'll see here, it'll stand the trailer pretty well upright. Another one of the little details I like on these, you'll notice they go to a little bit extra trouble and work to mount those treads to where they're raised about a quarter inch uh, over the ramp so you get a little better traction. Um, nice little detail they put on these. So again, there's your stand up bar that stores. Uh, another detail that's kind of convenient, they take and give you a locking latch on these ramps so they're not banging as you're going down the road. They're locked in place. Nice big grab handle. Most of your better manufacturers in the industry are going to use a 4x8 tubular bumper to rear. This does have uh, that heavier bumper. You also notice there's a weep hole at the end for any water to get out. Uh, spring assisted of course on your ramps those are some pretty pretty healthy ramps we put them on and probably 300 pounds 350 pounds per side so a few extra marker lights on these the three centers are required a stop turn tail on the outside is also required notice there's two of the stop turn tails and you have an extra marker light to the side This one here is 25 foot of flat deck with a five foot tail. This trailer is going to weigh in at about 6,500 pounds on the 30 foot length. It's going to give you a net legal payload of, uh, they sticker them at 22, but this does have two 10K axles. So 20 minus 65 is about 13.5. You're going to pick up about 15% or better tongue weight, which is another 3,000. So you'll be able to get about 16, maybe 17,000 pound on this particular trailer. Now keep in mind, uh, you do have more tires than 20,000 pound here on these. You've got uh, eight 3,500 pound assemblies rated in tandem. I believe they're about 31, 3,200 pound a piece. So you got about 25,000 pound of rubber on this particular unit. So 10K axles, generally we're going to use uh, electric brakes. It is available with hydraulic brakes, although generally we do 12Ks with hydraulic, 10Ks with the electric. The 12K axle trailer is built very similar to this. Biggest difference on the 12K is you go into a 5 inch drum brake instead of a 3 and 3 eighth. So when you go to the HDSS as well, a 72 inch uh, spread axle is standard equipment. You need to get above that 16, 17,000 pound uh, payload. Recommend going to the 12K axles. Gonna net you about 3,500 pound or so additional uh, payload capacity. This unit is also available in a gooseneck. We do keep those in stock generally in 25, 28, 32, and 40 foot lengths. And if you like the traditional black color, we can do that as well. That is the standard color on these. We upgrade to the charcoal. They do offer, uh, as a standard feature now, primer uh, on these. They have a, a zinc primer. And then uh, also on all load trails, you're gonna get a 232 warranty program covers the entire trailer well most of the entire trailer anyway for two years three years on your uh, on your structure on everything that weld trails load trails welded and then uh, two-year roadside assist for truck and trailer for vehicle lockouts tire changes etc that information can be found on load trails website that's called their 232 warranty program if you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers feel free to give us a ring at 717 Two two zero 
4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.